Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be doing some addition using concrete objects. That's meaning things that we can touch and pick up with our hands. So I have my whiteboard, I have my texture and rubber, I have some dominoes, I have some dice, I have some counters, and I have some playing cards. Mrs. Hanky has taken out the picture cards. So that's the ones with the kings, the jacks, and the queens. I don't need those. They don't have numbers on them. So any of this equipment you have at home, you might choose to use. If you don't have counters, you might use blocks like Unifix cubes or Lego blocks. Whatever you have in your home, that's what we will be using today. I'm going to show you an example with all of the equipment, first of all. I will start with my cards. I have flipped the number two and the number three. So with my texture, I'm going to write two plus, we use the plus symbol when we are adding, and three. Then to get my answer, I write equals. So I'm not going to count these one in the corners. Those tell me how many are on the card. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. Two plus three equals five. If that's a bit easy for you, you might use three cards. I've got a four, a four, ooh, and another four. Three fours. So I'm writing my number sentence. Four plus four plus four. And then when I write my answer of the total number, I put equals. So counting one by one, touching the picture so I don't count it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve altogether. Four plus four plus four equals twelve. And I'm not counting those ones in the corner. They do not count. They're just to tell me how many are on the card. I've run out of room on my whiteboard, so I have rubbed it clean, and then I'm going to shuffle my cards again. So they're all jumbled up, all mixed up, so I don't get the same ones twice. Next, I'm going to show you addition with dominoes. So I'm going to pick one and two to start with. I'm going to line them up on my whiteboard and use my texture. I'm going to count how many dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six on this side plus the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six on that side. Miss Hanky wants to challenge herself, so she's got another domino out as well. So I'm gonna keep adding to my number sentence. All right, the plus symbol, which means I'm adding that one as well. Just one dot there, plus one more. I know there's five there. Wow, how big is that? To get my answer, I write equals. Now with my finger, I'm going to touch over each dot so that I only count it once. One, two, three, four, five, six, lock it in my head. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, lock it in my head. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The total number of dots is 18. Six plus six plus one plus five equals 18. I'm going to try some more dominoes. If that was a bit tricky for you, you can just use the one domino. It has two sides. There are two dots on that side and two dots on that side. So I'm adding those together. I am plussing those numbers. And to get my answer, I write equals two, touching it with my finger just once, three, four. The total number of dots, how many there are all together is four. Next, I'm going to show you addition with dice. I'm going to start with two dice. And if I find that too easy, I can add some extras. Oop, that wasn't very good. All right. Six, adding it together plus one dot equals six. That's the bigger number. I'm gonna lock that in my head. Six is locked in and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna count bigger. Six plus one more is seven. So my answer is seven. That was a bit easy for Mrs. Hanky, so she's going to challenge herself. 
It's going to get another dice. Roll, roll, roll. Let's see, what have I got? Got four on this one, plus I'm adding it together. Three on that dice and one on that dice. So I'm adding four, three, and one. So I'm going to start with four. Four is my big number. I'm going to pick that up and lock it in my head. Four, counting each dot once. Five, six, seven, lock it in. Eight. So my addition sentence was four plus three plus one, and my answer was eight. A total of eight dots altogether on my dice. The last one I'm going to show you today is counters. So I'm just going to pick out a random number, pop them on this side, and another random number, and pop them on this side. Okay, I'm going to count one side first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they all have a pair. They are all even numbers. So eight plus how many did I pick up in this pile? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, I picked up the same number. Eight plus eight. Now I'm going to figure out how many counters there are all together. So I'm going to end up with one bigger number, which is my answer. Eight plus eight. All right, locking in eight. I don't have to count them all again because I know there's eight there. Eight, counting it once. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16. How many counters all together? There are 16. One more time with counters. I'm going to dig in. I'm going to take a big pile this time. And a small pile. Keeping them separated so I know there's two parts to my number sentence. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. Oh, big one. 25, I can hear two at the front and five at the back. I'm going to add 25 with the number one, two, three, four. Oh, another even number. These ones both have a partner. So 25 plus 4. Do you think I would start with 4 or 25? I'm going to start with 25 because it's the bigger number. So pick up 25, lock it in my head. That's locked in my head. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to count more, count bigger. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. How many counters altogether? There are 29 counters. All right, boys and girls, it's your turn. You need to create 20 addition sentences. That means 20 sums where you are plussing numbers together in order to get your answer. You might use dominoes. You might use dice. You might use counters or blocks. You might use playing cards. Whatever you have at home or in your classroom, you can use. I look forward to seeing your answers.